What I have right here is the YC Onion Hot Dog 3.0 Motorized Slider. <laughs> Interesting name, but we're gonna take a look at this today. And full disclosure, they did send this to me to check out, but as always, I gotta keep it real with y'all. Throughout this video, I'll be making some comparisons to the slider that I've been using, the GVM Motorized Slider. The first thing you're gonna notice is the onion slider is longer. This is the 39 inch version, and the GVM is the 31 inch version. So in this case, you'll get a longer pan or a longer slide with the YC Onion. One of the first things I noticed with the hot dog slider is that the motor is removable. In fact, it doesn't even come attached. You actually have to screw it in and also set the chain in place. So if you wanna use this slider, and then when you're finished, put it back in the storage bag that it comes with, you basically have to take it apart. With the GVM slider, the motor is attached. However, you don't get the same controls that you do with the hot dog slider. And these controls allow you to operate the slider without using the app. All right, real quick. I don't know if you noticed, but throughout the video, it looked like the chain was loose. And I actually just found out how to fix that. Essentially, there's this little knob right here, and if you tighten that, when you have the chain attached, it will fix it. So as you can see right now, it actually looks a lot better. One thing that these two sliders have in common is how you control the pan. You control it with these two knobs on the side. I wish there was a better way to control it because in my experience, it is a bit difficult to nail the exact motion that you want. For example, as it's sliding, it might be good for a bit, but somewhere along the path, it might make some slight movements that make it imperfect. To power the hot dog slider, it just takes one NP battery. You can also use a power bank via USB Type-C. After I attach the motor, I use the ball head and attach the camera to that. This ball head is gonna allow me to adjust the position of the camera on the slider. When you turn it on, connecting to the slider with the app is quick and easy. I will say the app can feel a bit clunky and not 100% optimized, at least for my iPhone. For example, the back button is invisible. It still works if you click where it's supposed to be though. A couple times I ran into a problem where I couldn't get this to move with the app, but using the buttons on the motor still worked. But ultimately, a quick reset fixed those issues. One cool feature with the app is when you select an A and B point and also the speed, it'll actually give you an estimate for the amount of time it'll take for the slider to go from point A to point B. So this would be useful for any shots that need to finish or reach a point in a certain time. I also wanna point out that if you're gonna be using this or really any slider with some length on a tripod, I would suggest getting these arms which attach to the slider and connect to the tripod. And this kind of ensures that it'll be steady as it slides and won't tip over. I wanted to do a test to see which slider is faster at top speed. So I started both at the same time and could clearly see the GVM is significantly faster. It actually takes a minute for the hot dog slider to rev up and get going.
So here's my conclusion on this. The GVM slider costs 280. This hot dog slider at this length costs 480. Now I gotta be honest, based on my comparisons and tests, if I'm deciding between this one and the GVM, I'm probably gonna go with the GVM. And that's just based on what's important to me. This hot dog slider is still good and highly capable, but when I'm looking at things like price and what has better ease of use, I would go with the GVM. The two things I like about this slider that the GVM does not have is that this can be controlled without the app. And also within this app, it gives you that timer that estimates the time it would take to get from point A to point B. But look, that's just me. If you are interested in either of these, I'll leave links down in the description, but be sure to drop this a like and jump down in the comments, let me know what you think. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It only takes a second and I will see y'all real soon in my next one. Peace.